Ah, oh, this is great. Uh, this is you're a real star. You're the first real star that I've talked to. You got to talk to more people. <laughs> nah, seriously, you've been on the Tonight <laughs> Show. You've been on with David Letterman. You were uh -huh. you were in movies. You're on. You're a big deal. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. I mean, I know now, you know, now you're talking to a bear, so that's not, I mean, it, it, maybe things are downhill now, but you know. I, 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 I've, talk. talk, I've talked to less human people than you, believe me. Oh, oh, we had a, oh, your iPhone's back. Oh, we're back. Okay. So uh, my friend, my, my personal assistant, Roger, told, yeah. me, told me that I should talk to people about making this film because I'm going to make a film and make a documentary. And, uh -huh. and, I, and he said that you had done one, a documentary on comedians that was fantastic. I have a comic. Jordan Brady directed it. Right. And, uh, yes, I did participate very, very closely with that. Yes. So, so what tips do you got for, for making a film? Well, don't get too hung up in, in, uh, in what it's going to become because that will reveal itself as you film. Our, yeah, right. our, that makes sense. It, and uh, just start going with an idea and, and see where it leads you. Uh, I was really um, impressed by how much this changed, the process changed for us. It was, actually, it was exciting. I watched your documentary, and I, I thought it was fantastic because you, you used to do stand-up, and then you stopped doing it, and then you started doing it again because of the documentary, right? And that's all, that became the storyline because Jordan, we would just want to interview comedians on what it was like to be a stand-up comic. And my, my idea, Jordan's idea, was to, to find out what it took to become a stand-up comic, the personality of a stand-up comic. And then he saw me watching these young comedians and he just recognized Jordan being an ex-stand-up himself. That look on my face of stage lust. <laughs> that's the only right. thing you're describing, stage right. lust. You can and really said, see that. In the film. Yeah. And then all he did was naturally point a camera at a narcissist and ask me if I wanted <laughs> to go back on. <laughs> That's funny. So now, now you're doing stand up again. I am indeed. Been doing and it since then. That is probably the hardest thing to do on the planet. Not if you have no other job skills. <laughs> where, 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 are you, where are you performing now? You, you do all kinds of, you like do cruises and stuff. I, go, I, do, I do cruise ships. I do land gigs. I do any gathering of people who will have me. That's good. Now, on a cruise ship, that's kind of nice because you could throw the hecklers off the boat, right? Uh, they, they, they do. They do. They toss them right overboard. Toss them right overboard. Over the side. Right. Not even a little red ring to go with them, man. They just toss them. Well, that's really cool. Well, we're excited to shoot this documentary. We're going to shoot it in Vegas in May. Uh, so if you're around, we'd love to have you stop by. That'd be great. All right, listen, I, I, I will make sure I'm around. Are you that's kidding good. me? Oh, because your, your assistant, your assistant I'm, Roger, is an old friend. He's a I'm, great guy. I, and he's, then he, I'm going to yeah. die. I'm going to die here. I got to go. But keep on talking about Roger. Well, Roger's a, a, a guy that I met a long time ago. I tried to shake him, shake him for years, and he just wore me down. That's how you become friends with a guy like that. They just wear you down. They wear you down. And eventually you have to be friendly with them. 